joined with the uh, Leo's job coaching program in the last batch, which started mm. a couple of months before. I was looking for a professional job. I'm an electrical engineer, so I'm looking for a job in my field, something related to electrical engineering. So I got to know about the job coaching programs. I started the course, and recently I have joined a company where I'm working in my field at the moment. Now, Amit, tell them a little bit about your struggle, because I've think it will be really relevant. How was your struggle before joining our program? I came to Australia in 2017, six, seven years before. And um, that time I started working here as a technician, not an engineer. Before that, I was working as an engineer in Sri Lanka. I'm originally coming from Sri Lanka. So mm. with worked two years as a project engineer. Then I came to Australia in 2017. So I couldn't get the engineering job, but uh, I end up with a technician role. So I worked there for three years and I was uh, looking for PR at that time. I didn't get the PR, so I decided to move to Tasmania. So I moved to Tasmania in 2020 and studied here and uh, I managed to get my nomination, but uh, you know, it's uh, something not relevant to my field. I studied something else and I work in something else. After get these uh, PR things shorted, I was thinking like, uh, you know, getting into the professional job is required the PR. So my main focus was getting getting the PR at that time. So after get the visa, then I, I was looking for the job. So still uh, the same, same thing happened to me. I'm still struggling to get an engineering job. That's the story. So I keep on mm -hmm. applying but uh, a lot of rejections and uh, no response from most of the employers. How does it make you feel when you keep getting no and no and, and no yeah, from the employers? Uh, because I was surprised. When I was working as a technician, people used to say that because of the PR, the, we can't get into the job. So in that hope, I finished that one. And again, I was looking to the job. But the same story happens. Mm. So that's uh, surprised and uh, I keep applying around uh, almost a year since I get my visa wow. still no luck so then I got to know about the job coaching program obviously the rest is history isn't it so many of you have this misunderstanding that oh I need to get my PR first and once I got my PR everything will be easy but as Amit have said, this is such a big misunderstanding. Yeah, that's true. That's obviously true because uh, after getting to the visa and stuff, still I'm uh, having trouble on getting the job. So then uh, I joined to the job and that time also I'm very choosy because I was looking the job only in the Hobart, like not into the other state and not, uh, not into the even uh, Launceston. So mm -hmm. I on applying only the jobs in Hobart and I was looking for the companies uh, which is located in the Hobart. Mm -hmm. You know, limited opportunities are here, but, uh, you know, still I can uh, end up with, uh, you know, professional job. Uh, to be honest, I have applied uh, and I went for three interviews. Like as uh, Leo teaches, so I follow the method and I keep applying jobs. Mm -hmm. I got uh, you know better response not like you know just apply to the seek and uh, you know keep waiting then say uh, unfortunately we can't process your application at this stage so straight away I got the response from the hiring managers and I attended the interview wow. so I attended two interviews and uh, also the job that I'm doing that is uh, working wow 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 that's good that's good now now, just just one more thing, Amit, because I think you raised such a good point and I need to remind everybody. So what you just said was the job that you got, it was not advertised on SICK or LinkedIn. Is that right yeah. to say that? Yeah, that's true. Amit applied on SICK and LinkedIn. The chance of him landing the role would be very, very less. Because if Amit just keep applying like everyone else, and not to forget he's in Hobart, Hope, now, if you think finding job in your city is difficult, oh my God, Hobart is like 10 times more difficult. Obviously, we don't have a lot of time here, but what are three things from our program that you really want to share with the audience here that make a lot of difference for you? I would say the elevator pitch. The first impression is very important to the employer. It doesn't matter if we call them or we just uh, walk in. 
even at the interview, we had to, you know, pitch ourselves very strongly. That's the first impression. So I would say the elevator pitch, that would be the important key to introduce ourselves into the employer. So mm. the employer definitely would get the better understanding, okay, this guy would uh, do the job. Uh, secondly, I would say understanding the job market. That is the very important thing. Because uh, just applying on Seek or LinkedIn, or, it is not the way to, you know, approach employer here in Australia, I think. Because that's what happened to me. I keep applying, but I didn't get a response. You know, the way that uh, Leo teaches, I think that works out very well. You know, talk to the manager first. That's the very important thing before we apply. So talk to them and uh, introduce ourselves into the people mm. and ask apply then they will uh, they will know okay this is the guy already talked to us i feel like when i apply to the seek they don't even look at our application wow maybe they filter out uh, you know very few application or someone would talk to them just to introduce themselves so they they just pick their application and check them okay are they having enough uh, requirement on other expectations that need the job, then they process themselves. So I would say understanding the job market, that's and uh, the way to approach the employer. That's the second uh, thing I got from the job coaching program. And uh, third thing is um, developing confidence. That is another important thing. You know, we, we can approach many employers. They don't give, you know, favorable decision. Sometimes they say, okay, we can consider, but the last time they say no. But uh, we should not give up, you know. Mm. We, have to, we have to develop our confidence to go for another employer. Wow. Do you so, feel that your confidence level has increased yeah, thanks yeah. to the program? Yeah, because uh, now if I see a job on Seek or LinkedIn some way, I straight away give them a call and ask them, what the expectation and uh, and uh, one more thing before I joined to the program, I also having some hesitation or nervous when directly go to the employer or talk with them. Hmm. But reality, that is not the way. If we go there, they treat you know like uh, with respect, and also they whether they are giving job or not, that's the second thing. But they don't uh, say rubbish things uh, when we talk to them or when we meet them. Because that's a very good experience after I joined the you know class. I tried and uh, the response was very good. Oh, wow. How long did it take you, the whole process? Actually, the job that I'm doing, uh, you know, you teach, uh, teach me the power base in the very first class. Mm. So it starts sending message the next day. So the conversation starts from there, but it takes me like seven or eight weeks to end up like uh, physically going for a job. Wow. wow. The conversation started, so I share my CV. Later on, they call me and they invite me for one day trial. Mm -hmm. So likewise, it drags to uh, like seven, eight weeks. But, uh, you know, the conversation started uh, from the very, very next day. I, I remember it was started 28th Thursday. So I sent a message on Friday. Mm. So Started from Friday, 29th uh, wow. September. Yeah. Fantastic. I mean, that is like, that's too fast. Probably the last question is Would you recommend them to join our program? And do you think it's such a great investment in their career in the future? Yeah, definitely. Because, uh, you know, before we apply, we should understand the, you know, the job market and how we approach them. If we know the right path, then every way we get the response. Let's say if you guys apply on C, you don't have uh, like any communication. Just uh, the C would give the update. Okay, whether employer view your application or uh, it, are they like to process further, something like. But you know, when you really interact with the, the company and uh, the hiring manager, you know, in Leo's word, when you interact with the people, not the computer, you know, you will get some information. Sometimes that would help you to apply for your next next job. So mm -hmm. I would say, you know, joining the program would be very helpful. You can understand the you know, market and uh, you can 
see the experience from the previous guys because uh, a lot of people they got the jobs and everyone's experience are different so mm. you you got to know okay this way someone get the job someone got the job by walking someone just uh, make a call 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 they got the job mm. so you you can uh, you can learn the you know the way of approach that would help you get the jobs so that i think that's the reason uh, you know after joining the program people are getting uh, job quickly because they know the path so once they follow easily they can get into the job <laughs> hey thank you so much amit congratulations one more time i appreciate your kind words thank you